Hey, good Thursday morning. Yeah, good Thursday morning. And I have to start off with a smile because whenever um, whenever the, these videos get loaded up on YouTube, um, I tell you what, they, they put some weird faces on me. Well, I guess it's my weird face, but they catch it at like some of the scariest. Yeah, and I'm wearing dark blue, so I'm probably going to look like a bat later on. Somebody called me out on that last week, I think it was, said I look like a bat. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, but anyway, uh, I want to share with you from Psalm 46. Psalm 46, because we need to hear this message today. Why? Because I'm getting private messages. I see people on Facebook. I see people leaving social media. And and again, you know, I, I'll tell you what, I, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on Facebook because I'm not I'm not on these platforms to argue politics. I'm not on these platforms to argue religion. I'm on these platforms to share my faith. Again, not argue, just share my faith and to stay in touch with family, stay in touch with friends all around the world. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm not on these platforms to argue politics. And I know some people are leaving these social media platforms, but um, I'm staying on because this is a great way to communicate, great way to share the faith. And um, yeah, so that's that's what I'm doing. So Psalm 46, if you got a Bible, you can read along with it. <clears throat> but listen to what the psalmist writes. And this sounds like experience, okay? God is our refuge and strength. God is our refuge and strength. Now, Now, this is from the book of Psalms. Now, think about the history of, of the people of God. I'm talking about the Hebrew people and and how God has always been with them. You know, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, how God heard the prayers of the people when they were enslaved in Egypt, how God led Moses. Moses, I mean, think, think of the miracles that happened but Moses was raised in the house of Pharaoh, raised with an Egyptian education. And, I mean, he knew the Egyptian culture and religions. He knew everything there was about Egypt. And, and God uses him as the deliverer of the Hebrew people from Egypt. And the psalmist says that God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. And again, this, this is coming from experience. They know, the writer understands, that even though life is difficult, even though things aren't going the way you want them to go in life because of maybe unemployment, because of sickness, because of broken marriages, broken homes, whatever it is, even though life isn't going right, you know what works in all of our lives? It's our faith. It's our faith. And and the, the psalmist says, God is our, our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. And you know what? They're... they're our nation is in trouble because of the division. I mean, people have worshipped the political leaders in this country. And it makes no, I mean, I don't care if you're Republican. I don't care if you're Democrat. I don't care if you're independent. But you can't put, and, and, and the sad thing about it is that a lot of folks who profess to be Christians are so more passionate, or at least they seem more passionate about politics than they do their faith. And you know what? Instead of marching on Washington, I would love to see followers of Jesus just show up on Sunday morning sometime when church is open back up. Yeah, because if we want to transform our country, the Hebrew people, the people of God, Israel, they understood the relationship that they had with God. God got them through rise and fall of their own country. God was with them when, when Nebuchadnezzar and Babylon went into Jerusalem and besieged it and, and took Daniel and, 
and his friends back to Babylon. They did not, even though their country fell, even though Jerusalem was burning, even though the temple was ransacked and, and all the holy items were taken out, they never denounced their God. They never gave up on their faith because God was the only thing that helped them, not only in times of trouble, but when life was good, they knew to give glory to God. And so here we are, we're facing, you know, a crisis in our country. We have 20,000 plus troops stationed in Washington. And it's for the protection of this transition between presidents. And since when did we become so uncivil? I mean, I really think when social media, when people started on these platforms, I, I, you see it, you witnessed it, you, you see it almost every day, at least when the election was going on, people hating this person, people hating that person, family members unfriending one another. I mean, it was things that you and I witnessed. But listen, if you want to be stable in life, then, then find faith. My faith is in Jesus Christ. And, and I know personally that this psalm from Psalm 46, that writer says, God is our refuge and strength. And there are days I couldn't make it through if it wasn't for my faith. I mean, seriously, life is hard. Life is difficult. But the psalmist says, God is our refuge. God is our strength and ever-present help in trouble. And some of you are struggling right now in life. And, and the psalmist says <clears throat> that God is an ever-present help. Ever-present. That means God doesn't leave you. That means that wherever you go, and, and I know people that have been in the ICU, been in hospitalized during COVID-19, and all the protocols, family can't go in. But you know one thing that, that helped those who have overcome? They've shared it with me. They said it was their faith. I mean, the nurses and the doctors that were there giving them that care that they needed. But man, those nights when they were alone and afraid and, and not knowing if they're going to make it, it was those moments where God was that ever-present help that ever-present strength, that ever-present help in, in troubled times. In Psalm 46, the, the writer says it. And you know what? The Bible says God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I don't know what you're going through today, but I know that if you want help, God is our refuge. God is our strength and ever-present help in trouble. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing today, this is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia. I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're safe. Remember to pray for one another. Remember to pray for our country and all of our leaders. And let's do our part to use social media to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Have a great day, everyone, and God bless.